Hey, how's it going? Well, it's been about a month since our last mission update. So we just want to give a good update on what we've been going through, what the Lord's been doing, how our family's doing, how the ministry's doing, and give it just a good mission update. In the last video, we mentioned that Marley was pregnant. Well, she's almost through with the first trimester. So praise God that this trimester is almost over, yep. right? How you feeling? Uh, feeling better. Feeling better. Sweet. <laughs> praise God. The family's doing well. The boys are having a lot of fun. We've been going to some of the parks around here. We've been uh, doing homeschool. So they've really been enjoying doing computer on online school. They really enjoy it. And I think it makes them feel more independent. They've been doing a lot of frog catching and salamander catching and turtle catching. And River exploration, hiking. Yeah, and pond exploration because Pappy has a duck pond behind us and the boys have just been in there. We've also been playing soccer, me and Cal. I've been the coach of his team. Yeah. He got on there and uh, so far we've won both of our games. So <laughs> kind of a legend. Also um, playing really good defense. Yeah. And he's really enjoying that. Really enjoying our family, being around family. That's been really good. I got accepted to Lifestyle Christianity University in Fort Worth, Texas. And so we're officially gonna be moving there at the, either the last week of August or the first week of September. I'm starting my doula school this week. It's Karis Childbirth. So, spirit-filled. Yeah, it's a spirit-filled doula school. Um, and they do like discipleship type training and so I'm starting that and I'm really excited about it mm -hmm. and, and it's really cool because the first module is about putting God first every day yeah before your work and everything else so that's amazing. really great it's just like showing it's exactly where we want to be that's important to us and I almost cried when I started reading all this stuff like when I first received like my binder for it, I like read through the modules and was just like, this is perfect. Also, we've been going to Ascend Church in Conyers and that's been really great. Uh, they had glory nights. Todd White came into town that weekend, which is really cool. So we've been getting ministered to there. Um, yeah, our kids got to go through a fire tunnel and Cal was like, I almost fell out. Yeah, and he's like, I felt the presence of God. And just the joy of God, he said, too. Yeah, and Brody came out, like, wrestling, but you yeah. know, the Holy Spirit does different things to people. I got to pray for a woman with schizophrenia. Yeah. She manifested some demons, and they got cast out because yeah. Jesus is awesome and king. And then her hips got healed, so she jumped up and down. It's like, whoa, my hips are healed. Yeah. <laughs> So that was really cool. And then also the ministry that we're doing is going really well. We took a break at the beginning of the month to travel a little bit, but we've been meeting in my dad's garage since we came back, uh, and which is where we are right now making this video. And it's been really good. The first week back, we talked about unforgiveness and processing forgiving hurts. And we had somebody that came from two hours away and it was a really small night. And so it was kind of a night just for her. And she got to process some unforgiveness for her a uh, past relative that really hurt her and the Lord gave us a prophetic word and then she was able to forgive her dad. We laid hands, she got filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah, it was really beautiful. It was really great. We were laying hands that night uh, and you know, my buddy got, uh, started feeling prophetic words coming up. So there was impartation happening. Yeah. And then last night we just had our second meeting back from our break and uh, we had more people and it was a really powerful night and we all laid hands the spirit of the Lord was very palpably. Yeah. Like it was hot. I was sweaty. And we've had people getting healed at our meetings physically. Uh, in the last video I posted, I was interviewing my grandma. She got physically healed some back pain um, and other things. And and then people just getting healed in their hearts and just we're just been enjoying a rich fellowship with everybody. At some point, either at the end of April or in the May. I talked to the city of Social Circle and we're gonna schedule an outreach evangelism worship night in the park downtown in Social Circle. So it's literally a stone's throw from the well in the center of the town. And we're gonna be in the middle of downtown, worshiping God at the park and reaching out, preaching the gospel. So that's gonna be something that we're gonna make flyers for and advertise for about a month and invite people and, and hopefully bring in a uh, mid-spring harvest. And I, I fully plan on doing that at least once or twice more before we go to Texas. 
Um, so please, please, please be praying into that. Be praying into the harvest. Be praying Isaiah 12, 3. That's been kind of the, the mission verse, you know, that we'll draw with joy uh, water from the wells of salvation. That's the vision that God gave me. I mentioned it in the earlier updates. And so if you could be praying into that, that we would draw with joy into the, the wells of salvation down by the well in our, in our hometown. Uh, that'd be great. Other than the group nights and what we're planning on doing, I had the very special privilege of getting to baptize two of my friends that uh, I was actually able to lead to the Lord in the last two years. Um, and so they got baptized in my parents' pond. It was an old school revival baptism <laughs> in a dirty little pond. Um, and it was really, really special. We laid hands, we prophesied, gave them specific words over their, <coughs> over their life. Uh, and we welcomed two new brothers into the kingdom of heaven and angels in heaven were rejoicing. And so it was a really special moment for me personally speaking, because it was the first people I've ever baptized. It's, it's beautiful fruit. It's, it's amazing to just, you know, having a burden for the lost to see people get baptized, just kind of did something in my heart. And so... We're eager to see more of that. And we've got this pond right behind this wall that we're just gonna be dunking folks in, okay? We're gonna be straight dunking them, okay? It was really special to see the simplicity of just like giving your life to Jesus and getting baptized, just how powerful it is to go in the water and come out. It just mm -hmm. doesn't seem like, you know, it's just so powerful. It's such a powerful act. And beautiful, it's, it's holy. It's so beautiful. And we asked them, asked them how they felt, you know, later we went to, out to eat. And um, both of them at different points said that they felt lighter, like a burden lifted. They felt lighter. They felt life. And that's what happened. That's what God gives us. Yeah. I was reading <laughs> in First Peter yesterday, and it says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from mm -hmm. the dead. And that word begotten in that, um, it's only used that one time in the Bible. It's the, it's a Greek word um, that literally means God rebirthed us. He gave us new birth. And um, it's born again. It literally means to be reborn, but, but only of God. God. Yeah. So it's, it's the only time it's used. Yes, yeah, it's a really special word. And that was really amazing to see that happen in that yeah. baptism. And that's beautiful. And now they're in the family of God, yeah. born of God. Yeah. I want to share a little personal thing between me and God that happened that I think could be a really good encouragement for somebody who's feeling like they're kind of losing vision for what God's called them to. When we came back from traveling back up to Virginia at the beginning of the month, I had this one night where I just felt like, man, are we even called to minister here? Like, should we be focusing on ascend? And, you know, there's all these questions and kind of a weird moment for me. And so I just went to bed and I was like, God, I was like, is this where you called us? to minister. And in the morning, before, right before I woke up, I heard God in English tell me, read 2 Corinthians 8, 10. And so I was like, okay. And I went to 2 Corinthians 8, 10. This is what 2 Corinthians 8, 10 and 11 say. And th in this, I give advice. It is to your advantage, not only to be doing what you began and were desiring to do a year ago, but now you must also complete the doing of it that as there was a readiness to desire it, so there may also be a completion of what you have. And how, it may, it's so amazing because a year ago, we were wanting to get out of the Navy, praying into this mission. Yeah. And literally God gave me the exact verse to answer a Bible verse I've never seen that's never been applicable to my life in any way ever. Yeah. He gave me verse, like specific verse to go read that answered my question. God saying, this is my advice for you. Finish what you started and were desiring to do a year ago. How specific is that? Anyway, I wanted to share that as an encouragement. If you're losing vision, just ask God to clarify the vision <laughs> and he'll make it really clear. Yeah. And so that kind of helped us get grounded. Like, all right, this is where we're called. This is what we're doing. And, and so we've seen a lot of fruit since, you know, God spoke that to us and we grounded in that. And so, and we will continue to see fruit because Jesus... It's called us to this mission. We're excited. Our family's doing well. The enemy has his schemes and his strategies, but ultimately they fail because 2 Thessalonians in chapter 2, it says, but God is faithful. He will establish you and guard you from the evil one. 
So we just wanted to give you an update of what's been going on in our life the last month and how the mission's going, how our family's doing, what we've got coming in the future, and how good and faithful God is. And we hope that you have a great day and that you be encouraged. Thank you for listening.